Okay, I'm at the Windows 8 login screen using a Windows 8 tablet. This is the Asus Vivo Tab. And um, let's uh, log in. Let's see, I'm touching on a text field and automatically the, the um, Windows 8 keyboard will pop up. And I'm going to log in now. And this is the Windows 8 start screen. And uh, here are all the start applications. If I um, launch an application from the start screen, uh, this is um, Windows Internet Explorer, and if I touch in a text field, the on-screen keyboard pops up. And that's a very nice feature of using a tablet where the keyboard automatically pops up. Now this particular um, tablet also works in desktop mode. It'll run full Windows programs in desktop mode. And um, and we'll try this again. Like here is the Internet Explorer from my desktop, and um, works the same way. It comes up on the screen. You have the regular Windows, and uh, now if I touch a, a, a text field, the on-screen keyboard does not automatically pop up, and um, that's a a, a a missing feature in the Windows 8 touch tabs if you're using a, a desktop mode. You can access the stock keyboard, but you have to go down to the taskbar and, and uh, access it manually. Uh, but if it will not automatically pop up. But if you want it to automatically pop up, you can install Hot Virtual Keyboard. Uh, I'll put the links in the description. They have a website. I'm going to launch that app by double-clicking the icon on my on my uh, desktop. You can have it automatically start up when window launches. And now if I go to Internet Explorer in the desktop mode and touch a text field, the keyboard automatically pops up. Let's try that again. See I have Hot Virtual Keyboard running in the background and I'm going to launch Internet Explorer from the desktop mode. And I'm going to tap in a text field and voila, the keyboard pops up automatically. But now with, on, with virtual keyboard, you have many options. Um, you could move the keyboard around the screen. Um, you could um, select other keyboards, you, you know, like this here. Here's another keyboard. This is a colorful keyboard. Um, here's another one with all the function keys on the top. Um, here's yet another one with the numbers on the top. You can move the keyboard around the screen any way you want. You could also resize the keyboard. Uh, you know, depending on what program you're running, you might want to have the keyboard off to the side and make it smaller. It's very easy. You just grab the edge with your finger and you bring it to any size you want. You know, make it big, big size here. And then um, you can customize this very easily. Um, yeah, let's uh, close it. And uh, down in the in the taskbar, there's a little icon. I'm going to uh, right click on it by selecting and holding. And now I have the right click menu. And uh, this has many options that are available to you in Hot Virtual Keyboard. Uh, let's go to the uh, options menu here, and it'll load up. And um, there's tons of options. You can select many, many different keyboards. Uh, so the on-screen keyboard, the one I was using was the Kios Web. But um, if you open up the menu, you have a whole bunch of, of keyboards that you can select. And every one is customizable, and every one um, looks great. Uh, you can resize them on the screen. They're all customi customizable. It's a very good program. It's called Hot Virtual Keyboard. And um, it's available from the internet. Let's, uh, let's look, take a look at their website. Um, I'm going to use the on-screen keyboard and type in um, Hot. I see it already came up in the, in the, in the, uh, in the address bar. And, uh, and we're going to just press enter 
and uh, this website will, will uh, explain all about it. There's a 30-day free trial. You can download it today. It works great. It's a must-have program if you're using Windows 8 in desktop mode and you want to have a customizable keyboard that will automatically pop up. So I highly recommend it. It's thumbs up, thumbs up on the hot virtual keyboard. Get it today. It works great.